Yo, what's up, peeps? It's your boy for High Real V. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and if you like the video, like the video. Let's get with it. So, I made a video yesterday about the LeVar Ball situation, uh, the changing gears, switching gears situation. And um, I woke up this morning and see that ESPN has banned him for life like i guess i don't know ban him from espn and all the products that, that they make that's crazy that's crazy and it's like on my other video i pretty much tried to stay in within the lines to not offend anybody which is something i'm clearly not going to do in this but it was certain words i decided not to use because i didn't want to sound like I ain't want to sound like I was overdoing it but since they overdid it I'm not going to go on 10 I go to 5 I go to about 5 today I hate to throw the race card man I really do <clears throat> because I love everybody I don't I don't do race like that all of us are the same people you know what I'm saying but we are treated differently because of our color of our skin. And that's real. We are just treated differently. And uh, this is one of those situations. Um, we just had in the NBA a part owner of a basketball team literally hit a black player, a black basketball player, and get like a year off in a fine. Which five hundred thousand dollars to that man is literally like two dollars and fifty cents out of an everyday person pocket. Like real talk. I mean he's a multi I mean he's a billionaire. And um I mean he got I think he got like a year off. He can't he can't come to any games, but guess what? He can still watch the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like he can still watch it on TV. You know, it's not really hurting him not to be there. And plus, I'm pretty sure they just gonna give him a skybox and tell somebody, tell everybody, don't let them know you're here. I'm pretty sure he's still gonna be able to see the games. I'm pretty sure. Oh, got a call. But we're gonna wait on this call. Cause I'm on some really important stuff. Mine. I should have turned it off at first, but uh, this is morning time. This is like my business time of the day. So that's why I do a lot of my business. So let's get on back to it. LeVar Ball said something that's not sexually, sexually offensive at all. And he get banned from ESPN. Now, we know who LeVar Ball is. You know what I'm saying? He made a JBA league to be in competition with the NCAA because he didn't believe in not playing those players. And if a player didn't have the money to go to college but had the talent or... Just probably didn't want to go to college. Just, just a ball player. He gave them avenue that they can play ball and get paid for it. And he got like four players right now that was in the JBA that's now playing, playing, playing overseas in Major League, getting paid, you know, to play basketball. If it wasn't for the JBA, this stuff would have never happened. And he has a son. That's the youngest player to ever sign a pro contract, basketball player. And that same son is the youngest player to ever have a signature shoe in high school. I mean, you got to think about the great thing this brother is doing. You know what I'm saying? For his family and for other people around him as well. To me, they don't want him in that platform. They don't want him doing that kind of stuff. Because it goes against what they're doing. Not cool to me. And like I said on my last video, if that was a, I'm going to be real. If that was a white man that did that, that everybody loved on the show, they wouldn't have took it like that. They only took it because it was a love, it was a love ball. That was it. That's the only reason that they took it like that. And that's not fair. You know what I'm saying? It's just not fair. I mean, he went on, on there. Even when they, they they even got past it. But my thing is, is they took all of the video 
of the whole thing. They took it offline so he could be judged on what that little part was. And if you watch my last video, you can see how I go in depth with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do that on here. But watch the last video. And I uh, I put a um, in the description, I know I put, you know what I'm saying, a lot. And I said it a lot in that video, so I apologize. I was just kind of in my feelings and I was trying to hold back what I really wanted to say. But uh, I'm with it, you know. I'm, I'm with it right now. I mean, I go to five because if I go to 10, it'll, it'll be crazy. But <clears throat> my thing is, out of all the stuff that happened on these shows in the NBA and the sports, why did that one thing take the place of the biggest thing that ever happened? Who else is banned from ESPN? Who else? That's just, to be honest, that's not our culture TV. <clears throat> that's not black TV. That's white TV. And that's not saying that black, the other people don't watch it. I'm talking about as far as owners. I'm talking about as far as as uh, all the people, a lot of the people up top. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a girl, I forgot her name, a black, a black lady that worked there a few years ago. They basically pushed her on out the door because she believed in what she believed. Now, I hate I forgot her name, but it happened. And to me, they just trying to show LeVar Ball where you really are. And you need to stay in your place. That's what they saying. That's all that's about. They telling him, you need to stay in your place. You know your job. You know, we, you know how we, you know how we feel about you. So we can't go and say, and where get off my show, we just gonna say, oh, okay, we found a spot. Cause that's the only thing, they been looking for a loophole. They been looking for a loophole. They been looking for a LeVar Ball to do something. And they found something, quite, quite possibly the smallest thing ever, to take him off sports TV. Which they, they held the biggest channel of sports TV. They basically saying, stay in your place. You think you this and you think you that. No. no you, you see who's really in charge. That's basically what they saying. Now, you have a white man hit a black player in the NBA. Hit him for no reason. Go back and look at the footage. Hit him for no reason. But you let LeVar Ball say something that wasn't even sexual. I've never heard it in this. We'll go back and watch my old video. I never heard it in a a form of sexual innuendos. Or oh, I can switch gears. We can you can switch gears with me anytime. No, that was literally conversation. Did nobody say that when they talked to her? Like she, they, when she said, "Let's switch gears." Did nobody say that to her? Did nobody say, "Oh, that's sexual." She's like she told Lavar, "Let's switch gears." Not cool, man. They only trying to tell this black man, stay in your place. Or we gonna put you in your place. Divide and defeat. You divide by putting it all on this stuff and showing just that one little clip, putting it all on these media platforms, just this one little clip, like I said in my last video with Kanye West, this one little clip, and you won't show the whole thing. Nobody was offended, you know. What I'm, and if she was offended, like how? She said, "Okay, let's stay on track." He was on track. He even did the the gear. Like, let's go. You the one said it, but that's where I'm at, man. And I think I went on three. I ain't even get up to five. I got to three. So proud of myself. But long story short, that's all to show that man. We in charge. And they ain't been able to control him. So they had to make something happen. The first thing LeVar do, bam, we got him. We got him. We don't want him on our platform. We don't want him talking. We want people to not like him. Because his his sons got their own shoe brand. His his son, Alonzo, uh, was the first basketball player ever to come in 
the NBA with his own shoe brand. Forget how he played. He made history. The youngest boy made history. And they don't want Lamel they don't want Leangelo in there. That man can shoot his butt off. Like, dude is cold. It's like he don't miss shots. I don't know if y'all ever seen him play, but he's the best shooter out of all three all three of those boys. And it's, it, it's crazy, man, but I had to do another video. LeVar Ball is banned from ESPN. They have to do something to drop that. Because if that's not some of the biggest form of racism ever, that's crazy. You let this white man hit this black basketball player, but y'all, just because he said something, matter of fact, they know, that they, they know he didn't mean that. Shannon Sharp said it. He said he tweeted it. They know that he didn't mean it. And then Jalen Rohn said he should apologize. I don't feel like he should apologize. Because she said it. She said, let's switch gears. They didn't say, oh, she talking sexual to uh, LeVar Ball. They didn't say that. If switch gears is a sexual thing, she said it first. That's where I'm at. And I'm, I'm going to get to another level. So I'm going to get off here, man. Um... If y'all enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll be on here. Please leave a comment and let me know what y'all think. If you watch the video, please leave a comment and let me know what y'all think. I love y'all. It's your boy Fahara Rev V, the son of Double A G, and his IVD all day. One.